So now you've heard our major goals for 2015. And in order for us to fulfill these goals, we need to raise $140,000. And how will we raise these funds? We have essentially five buckets for our funding. One is our actual events that we run. Two is our sponsorship program. Three is grants. Four is online funding. And five is Team Bite Me Cancer. I would now like to introduce Meryl Basaga, who is the vice chair of our board and co-chair of our events and fundraising committee. Thank you, Nikki. As Nikki said, I'm Meryl Basaga. I'm the vice chair of the foundation, as well as the co-chair for the events and fundraising committee. I'm also a thyroid cancer survivor. I'm going to... Thank you. <laughs> I'm in good company. I'm going to tell you about two of our signature events planned for 2015. In April, we'll be holding our second annual Cancerversary dinner. Last year, we celebrated Nikki's four-year Cancerversary, and this year, we're expanding the event to celebrate all survivors of all types of cancer. We hope that cancer survivors, along with their family and friends, will come out and celebrate their own Cancerversary with us. The event will be held at the Greater Reston Arts Center and the Reston Town Center, and this will allow us to expand the event to 80 to 100 people. Last year, we had 50. Um, the food and wine are going to be supplied built by Il Fornaio Restaurant in the Reston Town Center. And the event, I think I said this will be at Reston, Greater Reston Art Center in the Town Center. The date of the event is set for April 19th with 5.30 registration and the wine dinner following. Um, we have a Save the Date flyer in the back. Stay tuned for more event and fundraising information. Make sure you get your tickets early. Last year the event sold out. Um, I would like to acknowledge and thank uh, Huel Barraras, who's the general manager of Il Fornaio. <coughs> Excuse me. Huel, are you here? In the back. As well as Holly McCullough, who's the executive director of Grace. Holly, are you here? Holly's not here. Thank you both very much. Also in September, we'll be hosting our second annual Bite Me Cancer for a Lifetime event. The event will be held at the Reston Lifetime Athletic Club. We'll be inviting teenage cancer survivors as well as teenagers who are currently fighting cancer along with their family and friends to come out for this really fun event. Participants will have full access to the club, including the outdoor pool and the outdoor restaurant. We'll have uh, fitness demonstration classes by the outdoor pool, weather permitting, and if not, everything will be held inside. Um, lifetime athletic members will be able to attend the event for free. We'll have sponsor and vendor table opportunities available as well. The event is scheduled for early September. We don't have an exact date yet, but stay tuned for that exact date and special programming information. Uh, we want that event to grow from last year, so we're planning some really fun activities for that event. I'd like to thank uh, George Hernandez, who is the general manager of the Ruston Athletic Club. Is George here? No, George. Well, thank you, George. We appreciate your uh, inviting us to come back for a second year. Um, and I want to thank all of you for coming out tonight. It's great that you're here, and I hope to see most of you at our two signature events this year. Um, I'd like to introduce Mark Serra, who is one of my co-chairs of the Events and Fundraising Committee. Uh, he's also been on the board since 2010. He's one of the original board members. And how about a shout out to this guy who wears so many hats, you're also an awesome <laughs> AV guy. <laughs> You are on top of it. Uh, you heard Nikki mention uh, that we kicked off a sponsorship program in 2014, and we think to great success, we were able to attract 15 organizations into our corporate sponsorship program this past year. You see the names listed. And uh, we're very proud of that. And that, along with the individual sponsors, also a component of the sponsorship program, that together, the sponsorship program represented the biggest single source of revenue for the foundation last year. So we're very proud of that and we're looking to build on that in 2015. Um, there's a lot of great benefits to being a sponsor, uh, not the least of which is recognition and mentions in our newsletters and website and in all of the social media activities. And you should know that 90% of the funds that we collect go direct to our programs, to the foundation's programs, specifically teen support and the research grants. So that's an excellent number and something we're very proud of and that's something that 
will also continue into 2015. So there are flyers. These flyers are in the back. I really encourage you, if you consider, if you would consider becoming a, uh, if your organization would consider becoming a sponsor or an individual sponsorship, please take one and please ask me or anybody on the board uh, if you have any questions about the sponsorship program. It's going to be a very important part of our fundraising and the ability for us to do what we set out to do this coming year.